print email Facebook Twitter more no guarantee ra blackouts won't occur again our health has stopped short of declaring Adelaide's 2.4 billion dollars new hospital safe from future blackouts after publishing a pair of reports detailing a range of failures which led to a 17-minute outage in February, the blackout at the new Royal Adelaide Hospital struck while at least two patients were undergoing surgery on operating tables, disrupting other treatments and resulting in some people being stuck in lifts. The private consortium which manages the major public hospital, Celsus, initially blamed a software glitch for the blackout, which occurred during a test of some of the hospital's six backup diesel generators. But an independent review conducted by Fraser Nash Consultancy found that Celsus, through its maintenance contractor Spotless, was directly responsible for the blackout which occurred when two of the generators ran out of fuel. The analysis found that prior to testing the generators, Spotless failed to act on alarms which prevented the hospital's automated fuel transfer system from topping up the generator's tanks. The alarms had been sounding for days, and were still sounding at the time maintenance staff tested the generators under full load. A separate review into communications before, during and after the blackout was conducted by SAR Health. It found, the consortium did not inform SAR Health that it would be testing the generators, despite a contractual requirement to provide monthly maintenance schedules a formal process of notifying senior staff about the emergency via text message was not activated senior staff in operating theatres were informed the power was back on and operating could resume before the hospital's commander issued an official all clear the chief executive of the Central Adelaide Local Health Network, Jenny Richter said that alarms which disrupted the fuel supply to generators would not be ignored in future. I've been reassured by Celsius that Spotless have put in place new systems to better educate their own staff about how to respond to those sort of alarms, Ms Richter said. She said changes had also been made to boost communication between the health department and the hospital's private operators. We've got in place a weekly meeting between Celsius, Spotless and ourselves to understand what maintenance is happening for that week and then for that whole month ahead so that we can best inform staff about areas that might be affected. But, Ms Richter stopped short of guaranteeing further blackouts would not occur. There will always be, from time to time, in any hospital, failures that happen. The relationship between Spotless and the SAR government has been under public scrutiny, with both the current and former state governments expressing dissatisfaction at the quality and delivery of food at the new hospital. Spotless also recently lost the contract to deliver services at the Modbury Hospital and Flinders Medical Centre. The president of the Australian Medical Association, Associate Professor William Tan, was operating on a patient in the Royal Adelaide Hospital when the blackout happened. He said the government needed to offer clear instructions to surgeons to cope with any future blackouts. Any clinicians in my position would be asking the question, well this has occurred, what is the backup plan? Where is the generator backup? Why hasn't it kicked in? He said, it's potentially a life-threatening situation. And I can imagine that if I'm not familiar with where my equipment is within the patient while this is occurring, this potentially is